Hello everyone, welcome back and this is the last section of our personality development lessons. We talked about how to alter some of the traits. Now that you are at the process of alteration, we are now going to see ways to develop your personality. So, what are the ways for you to develop? You have altered, now you want to develop and bring in some the changes that you have identified. How do you do that? And let's just take a quick look at that. These are just some, some small points, could be an overall, uh, overlap of whatever we have learnt. But this is going to help you with, now that I have decided to change, how do I develop on those changes? Still, so you remember I had told you that people will start labelling you. If you are emotional, they will say drama queen, drama king, you know, he's, a, he's an actor, she's an actor, this and that. Let people not label you. Stay away from labeling. That is why that those processes you'll have to follow. Beliefs, then um, changing habits, changing, uh, believing in the process. So stay away from labeling. And if people are trying to do that, just stay away. But then try to bring in those changes so that people stop labeling you. Even if they are doing, putting a stamp on you, just ignore them. Be a good listener and this is very important. When you are listening to people, one thing you are drawing, you are getting a feedback. Second is, you are also lending an ear and you are making them feel special. So when people are giving you feedback, when they are saying that, okay, this is something they need to work upon, listen to them. And if you are getting this feedback quite often, pay attention and try to develop this particular uh, trait that you are missing in your personality. Work on your shortfalls and this is very important. Whatever shortfalls you have, whatever weaknesses you have, if you are unable to follow time, if you are someone who is not organized, if you are someone who is too emotional or if you are someone who is too strict or too rational, always uh, thinks with uh, reasoning and logic and doesn't want to listen to someone else, these are some of the shortcomings that you need to work on. Once you have worked on these shortcomings, you start developing the traits which are needed you to be, a, to be having a pleasing personality, a personality which is quite balanced and which um, depending on the situation you take your actions or decisions. Refrain from comparison. This is very important. At times you would see that people are comparing you or at times you see that you yourself are comparing with someone. I have not been able to do this because he or she is born intelligent. I have not been able to finish my task because someone came and disturbed me. He or she has got, got a better situation. He or she got a better assignment than me. So stop this comparison. Whatever you have got in your kitty, work on that. Whatever God has given you, you try to improvise on the things that you do not have, but do not compare. The moment you start comparing, one thing you are demeaning yourself, second is you are not focusing on the task or the situation or the assignment or the work given to you, you are focusing on the other person. So stop this comparison. Everybody I had told in one of the sessions, everybody is unique, you are born unique. That is what your type is, that is what your trait is. So do not compare yourself with others, just focus on yourself and try to change your um, shortcomings and shortfalls. Imitate right behavior. So I told you, you know, you need to change the behaviors. So Imitation means just copy, copy whatever is right. Copy doesn't mean in a wrong sense. Imitate means whatever is the right behavior, waking up on time, waking up early, eating uh, on time, you know, sleeping on time, finishing your tasks on time, following the processes, being good to others. So there are all these things that you need to work on. And if you see that, okay, these, these people have such pleasing personality, they've got People feel so good when they are around these people. Why don't they feel good when they are around me? Why am I, uh, you know, struggling with finishing my tasks? So if you have these questions for you, you need to imitate these, you're not comparing. You are trying to draw good things from others. Okay, so imitate good behavior. Play and enjoy, and this is very important. Do not take stress that you've been told to alter some traits of your personality and then now you are, you are at the verge of developing it. So I will start take, taking stress. Play. That is what you have to do. You can learn a lot through playing and enjoy your life. Do not take stress. You are too young. You need to be focused of course, but do not take stress in your life. Be calm, be cool, take right decisions, take help if needed, but do not take stress. Enjoy your life and be playful. Limit your screen time. This is very important. You are trying to bring in some changes, though now you would say that this is also online learning that you are doing. But in order for you to, since you are learning online and you are, you already have got exposure to screen time, you also had a screen time exposure of one hour for watching cartoon, let that go. 
because you already have got a screen time. So limit your screen time. Try to learn more from your experience. So there's something called experiential learning. Try to learn from environment. Try to observe people. Try to see what's happening in and around you. Try to read uh, books. Try to read journals, magazines. Rather than always, you know, sticking to your screen, whichever it is, laptop, computer, mobile phone, iPad, whatever it is, s limit that screen time and focus on learning via observing, learning via doing, than always watching. Watching as in watching your screens. Chalk out the rules. You will have to set, so you must be seeing, you, know, you, you must be having houses, teams, groups. I don't know, in, in, when we were in school, we used to call these houses. And every house has got a representative and there are flags, so on and so forth. Every house has rules. And in your home, you've got rules. In your schools, you've got rules. Likewise, you should set rules for yourself. If you want to change behavior, if you want to imitate good behavior, you need to follow certain rules. So write those set of rules for yourself if you want to develop a certain personality type. Encourage independence. Always try to do things on your own. Take that attempt, take that initiative. Seek for help only when you need to. If you are reliant too much on people, your independence is lost and then when you grow up, you will always be, you will you will become a climber. You will always need someone's support to grow, someone's support to finish a task. Do not be like that, okay? So always try to be independent, try to finish tasks, try to take decisions on your own. If need be, depending on the situation, if, then only seek for help. And seek for help from right sources, right people. And finally, read books as much as you can whatever good you come across read it the more you read i have told you several times the more you read the more you retain the more you reflect and then that helps you in making a lot of changes in your self personality being one it also increases your increases your confidence you get content to talk about so there are so many benefits of reading books follow all these 10 rules okay follow these steps and then you will see you can develop the right kind of personality trait. So it was really nice and exciting talking about personality, talking about psychological things to children like you. And I'm sure you've understood all of these things and you are now going to take an action in changing your personality if need be. Thanks for watching and stick to the ground rules. Thank you very much.